Greetings and welcome to Elysio's Diecast videos, day 2 of 2017. And today, after Hot Wheels and Matchbox, I'm going to talk about Greenlight, and more specifically about GL Muscle Series 16. It's a set of six cars, as usual with the GL Muscle Series. And uh, we start with the 1967 Ford Mustang with the Golf livery and uh, I have to say this is probably my favorite Golf release so far from uh, Greenlight um, the car has a lot to do with it but also because this one is the only one with, with proper um, what how, how would I call it uh, racing uh, attire uh, the other ones, yes, they had the colors, but uh, that was about it. It didn't look like a racing car at all. And that's that goes for both the Camaro and the GTR. Whereas this one, yeah, uh, this is a proper race car. Well, except for the fact that it's a 1967 Ford Mustang and they probably never raced in that configuration. I will have a quick overview of all the cars in this set before maybe opening it um, because I want to check something. I wanted to make a video, uh, a fast cracking video just with the uh, green light, but um, Lamar Fashion pointed out that there was a lot of quality issues with this, uh, uh, with this set, so I want uh, to check that with you. Uh, here's car number two, 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. And, uh, so here it's it appears orange. Here it's more, it's leaning more more towards um, red, uh, but it's not the red red. So um, at the same time, I don't want to call it orange. Next, we have the 1971 Dodge Challenger RT in green. Right after that, probably my favorite from the set, the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 in black. Pretty cool. My cat is outside in the ring, probably has something to say about the cars, or oh, which one is his favorite, favorite. Next we have the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro. SS making its comeback and uh, right off the bat I can say that uh, the wheel issue there's no wheel issue in this one compared to the uh, golf release I had and uh, for me it was a ma major major bummer uh, this one seems to have proper size wheels so that's pretty cool and last but not least 2016 Challenger, uh, Charger, sorry, SRT LCAT in red. So let's start with the Formula Stang here. So looking good. Uh, I like the fact that the tires are proper sized and not the usual uh, steam rollers. In terms of detail, so let's see if I have any issues with this. Paint seems to be on point. No problem with the tires. That's a re recurring occurrence with the green light. There's uh, almost always something wrong with the tires. And, uh, Wood opens but barely, that's something I never quite understood, what's the point of an opening wood if you can't actually open it, but okay, and closes normally, um, yeah, the front is okay, alright, so I don't seem to have any issue with this one, so that's, uh, that's a relief, nice looking, very nice looking. That's car number one. 
Okay, number two. Nice green. Uh, this one has the steamrollers, steamroller tires, and that's uh, that's too bad. Why well, it would be okay in the back, but the front, seriously, look at that. Other than that, yeah, nice, uh, another nice release, I guess. Uh, doesn't oh, this one doesn't seem. Oh boy, there's a yeah. See what I mean by uh, tire issues? Doesn't fit well. It doesn't even roll properly. Same here. There's some fitting issues. See that? How convenient that the size. Oh no! Same thing. Look at that. Seriously, guys. Look at this. It's not uh, it's not major but come on opening wood opens it opens properly so yeah does it roll yeah no no not not much this one this one doesn't roll at all that's oh uh, well car number three 1970 Plymouth World Runner. So yeah, definitely orange and not red as I first thought. Steam rollers. Uh, same uh, issues with fitting, at least in the front here. On the other side, seems to be doing better. Everything else seems to be good. Yeah, opening hood, if it wants to open, yeah, but barely, what, one say, uh, this one is even worse than the last time, and I don't want to break it, oh, yeah, okay, you just have to force it a little bit, well, that's better, okay, nice, okay, not too shabby. Uh, number 4, 2010, Ford Shelby GT500. So Lamar seemed to have, uh, Lamar Fashion once again, uh, seem to have some issues with this one also. So let's see. Uh, proper size wheels, fitting is so-so. Uh, Looking good. Plastic lenses for the tail lights. Plastic lenses for the front lights. And always a good thing. And does that open? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you have to find. Uh -uh. There you go. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice looking engine. I don't know if you can see properly. Let's see. Yeah, not too shabby. Well, oh, you even have painted mirrors. Even Kyosho doesn't have that. Very nice. Well, uh, I have to say, I like it. It's, uh, no flaws, at least not on mine. Nothing I can see. Very cool uh, gray and uh, black. Yeah, definitely my favorite. Car number 5, 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS, in yellow. So let's see. Uh, okay. So yeah. Uh, I'm happy to see that the wheels actually fit this time. On the Golf uh, version, they, they were too thin and uh, going too deep inside the car, and uh, that was not a good look for such a 
sporty car. But here it seems to be, no, it is fitting perfectly. The wheels are okay, steam rollers, but that's okay. Uh, is that lens? Yeah, plastic lens is for the front. Nice. And for the back too. Pretty cool. And does that open? Uh, probably, but it probably won't, will not want to collaborate with me. Yeah. Let's see if uh, we can do that without damaging the paint. There we go. Alrighty then. The engine bay. Okay. Little bit of uh, blemishes here. Here, nothing too uh, too bad. Looking good overall. Very nice. And the last car, they said. 2016 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. That's a heavy one. Nice black wings. A bit noisy, this one. Uh, so it looks like the lights in the front are like for the camera it's a mix of uh, plastic and painted the back same thing plastic with some tempos on it very nice and uh, i assume this opens too you just have to find e -A oh boy Oh boy, did I chip it? Yes, I did chip it. Oh. How do you open something like that? Really? Seriously? Okay, well, I, I already chipped it a little bit in the corner here, so I'm not going to try anything else. But uh, it's maybe like this? No too tight oh well no engine engine bay for you guys there you have it GL muscle series 16 with uh, three more modern cars going against three vintage one pretty good set I always like the GL muscle series and uh, even though they do a lot of repeats or small variations from 1970 model to 1971 but uh, overall the quality has always been pretty good the choice of cars is very very nice so there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you had this set and if you had any issues with paint or wheels or whatever issues the green lights usually have oh I noticed that this one also has painted uh, mirrors the ones with mirrors all have painted mirrors. Very nice touch. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on, on Instagram at uh, Elizabeth Diecast. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.